They've locked me out of the bloody room. Sterling, did you even go home last night? Three years of negotiation and now, now she springs this. Don't even try to defend her. She obviously doesn't think a crash investigation should perhaps, possibly, maybe, include the government's lead investigator. She'd never have let Silicon Valley get their claws into the space program. Sterling. What? Quit being such a damn baby. Oh, good. You're coming. <laughs> It's like a ghost town around here. But look to the future, right? What's the top speed on a new rover? We'll find out. I feel like holding up. Mm. Right, right, I get it. Corporate confidentiality. But faster than light communication, I mean, that's a massive breakthrough. Maybe if we had it six years ago, it might be. Oh, look, my floor. You sure you're ready? You sure you're not just jealous I have your old job? Maybe get the Lando down safely before you start bragging. So now I have to wait to be invited in like some kind of vampire. It makes sense. You've been dead to us since you switched teams. OK. I'm waiting. But people need answers. The families need answers, Sterling. The people can wait. Just trying to do my job, Mac. Good morning, Mission Supervisor Mackenzie Wilson. The Intrepid Probe's geostationing orbit is stable at an altitude of 342 kilometers above Mars. You asked me to monitor an expected asteroid pass at 9.53 a.m. this morning. It will travel well clear of the probe's orbit. I'm pleased to report that all systems are nominal on the Mars lander craft. Launch countdown initiated. we ready in for launch five hours early? There's a sandstorm approaching the landing site, and the dust may affect engine function. Okay. All right, so it's a better launch window. I, I can see that, but who authorized it? I did. Call Lena. Your sister is in a meeting. She may not respond. Countdown to lander clamp release. T minus 60, 59, Damn, stop. 58, 57, 56. Halt 55. the countdown? How is your override? Mac? Real funny story. Your pet robot is getting ready to launch early unauthorized. I swear I was going to tell you. Tell me what? Artie's taking lead on the crash investigation. What? The board agreed it last night. T minus 30? I trust Artie. You are putting a recruit into battle before it is even at a basic. Do you really want to know why they demoted you? We don't know if you did your job properly six years ago. Be prepared for every possibility, including human error. Yeah, and you be prepared for AI error. I'm going to my office for visual. Great idea. T minus 10. Intrepid launch base sensors report nominal systems. Lander clamps released. We are go for launch. I've completed your standard drill procedure, Mackenzie. Egress clear from Spaceship Intrepid. Lander ready for stage two. Executing stage two. Fifty seven seconds until the lander enters the atmosphere. Running your usual analysis. Systems normal. 
Parachute deployment in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Parachute deployed. I have an alert. The error show temperature is 11% above normal. Heat shield attachment in 3, 2, 1. I cannot release the heat shields. There are mechanical malfunctions. Run a secondary ejection protocol. Backup detachment failed. What's our contingency? I'm running simulations. This is not what we would have hoped for. My prediction of success is only 7%. You're gonna have to do better than that. Seriously, if we wasted a launch to Mars, I am gonna rip you out of the sea. Run a partial lander opening to pop the heat shield. We'll crack it like a nut. This has improved the odds, but only to 42%. It's better than seven. Noted. Triggering partial lander opening. Panel resistance detected. Disaster data recovery protocols initiated. Heat shields detached. Initiating ion engine burn. Your sister is calling. Touchdown. The heat shield ejector failed and we had to run an emergency protocol. And that is why we have already. We ran my scenario. Which already executed. Which is what it was designed for, Lena. Brute force processing and high speed maneuvering, not for abstract problem solving, not to, not to run missions. Already is so far beyond human capabilities. Do you know what humans did? We wrote 10 feet high stacks of code by hand for the moon landings. Checked and double checked if atomic bombs would ignite the atmosphere. We discovered relativity while working in a patent office, Lena. We created AI to help us. Not to lead us. Dad never wanted this. Dad's not here. Sensor scans nominal. Lander systems nominal. You enjoying Hyperlight? Exploring in real time. Such a game changer, don't you think, Mackenzie? Mac. Artie discovered instant communication and revolutionized space exploration. Yeah, and who invented Artie? You are living in his world now. AI will outlive us and explore the stars. <laughs> lander is functioning perfectly. So, what's my role? Can't have two generals on a battlefield. You're back up. Warning. Signal detected. I have an origin unknown. What the hell is an origin unknown? If already finds something he hasn't discovered in his learning, he comes to us. Well, at least it still has a leash around its neck. Huh? I'm attempting to analyze the transmission signal. It is coming from the decommissioned Rover 5. It's 
just an igneous cap. It shouldn't be an origin unknown. It's got to be an error. What if the alert's not an error? There's one way to find out. An exploratory assignment. See if it's even capable of running a real-life mission. A Turing test. Artie, you have a new mission. Investigate the origin unknown. You know if it fails. But if he passes, it's probably the end of human mission control. You know Sterling would come in handy right about now? Sterling stays out until this is resolved, clear? What's the cornerstone of science? Repeatable results. Well, good to know you haven't forgotten everything. Replicate the scans, photograph the source. Sorry, Mackenzie, but I'm mission controller. Run the scans, Artie. Understood. Running the scans. What's its override? <sighs> no, Mackenzie. In case of an emergency. I'm the override. All right. Now get me my answer. Plan the safest driving route. The Martian weather I detected is worsening. Robot ambassador, right? Did you know that all resident Martians are robots? Is that small talk, or are you trying to make a joke? Just giving you the facts. Yeah, because we send robots there to die. And humans, it would seem. Be careful with Little Red, huh? I'm sorry, Little Red? I wanted to call the ISV Little Red. Exploring alone through the deep dark woods, but I got outvoted. But look who's in charge now. You mean me? <laughs> what, not funny? I'm gonna make it my mission to get you to laugh. Perhaps you should authorize your mission with Lena. <laughs> and to think you could win a Nobel Prize. Unlikely. The Nobel Prize is only awarded to humans. Well, at least you know your place. It's a shame that Lena doesn't. What do you think of my sister? Her instructions are clear, and she enthusiastically supports the RT initiative. God, they programmed you like a dog. Do you like her? Do you? We're not friends, put it that way. Are we friends? <laughs> oh, you're serious. 
So tell me something. We discover something new. Who gets naming rights? USPC owns my intellectual property. You gotta read the small print. Next you're gonna tell me that they don't even pay you. Little Red is approaching the target anomaly. Looks like Little Red has made it to Grandma's house. I have searched all databases, and there's no known human activity recorded at this site. As you know, Scientific Protocol 29-C dictates that any discovery must undergo sample extraction and analysis. You're the boss? Just a tiny sliver. Don't damage it. The surface hardness may be beyond the drill's tolerance. Sample extraction successful. I'm initiating analysis. Little Red sampling instrument packs are producing intriguing data. This is going to take all night. Just run the uh, corporate code language. Running image recognition against the corporation's codices. I have only found partial matches. Do you not have USPC's codex? Huh. No sense in being smart if you can't tell when someone's lying to you. Call Lena. Calling Lena Wilson. So much for it being a pile of rocks. Whose is it? We'll know as soon as we can decipher the markings. Why doesn't it have our codex? It's in his library. Artie, our codex is partitioned from you in case of a security breach. I hope you understand why. I'm sorry. Our AI is compromised in the name of corporate security? That's why this is an origin unknown. Who is a liar? You think I'm lying? Leave. What are we looking at? Supply container, lander module, experiment, signal relay, measurement beacon. It could be anything, Lena. Switching to thermal imaging camera for thermographic analysis. Somehow colder than the surrounding rocks. Okay, so we know that we have a cold black monolith. Why didn't we find this before with Rover 5? Oh, come on. I would have seen this. This. <gasps> my conclusion, based on my restricted access to the USPC Codex, and the presence of an unidentified object near the proposed colony site, is that the cube is the property of USPC. I could get to like him. Prove it. Grant me unrestricted access to the Codex and I shall. Find another way. Trust, but verify. LiDAR scanning the cube. Is that what we're calling this? He discovered it? 
He gets naming rights. I hate to think what you've been teaching him. Yes? Who's? How long? LiDAR data is unusable. Switching to X-ray scan. My sensor data is inconclusive. We cannot see inside. Okay, what I miss? The material is impervious to X-ray, so we have no idea what's inside. So, we've got a puzzle box. Listen, Mackenzie, I know you miss your colleagues. Sterling, I know you think he quit, but he was fired. And this crash investigation job, he's found a way back in. I don't trust him. Hold on, I got a call. Sensors detecting deviation in orbital paths or near Mars objects. It appears an asteroid storm is approaching. Adjusting satellite orbit trajectory. Okay, I'm gonna go check to see if the symbols match our codex. Artie, continue investigating the object. Mac, I'll, um, I'll be back in touch. <sighs> Warning, collision proximity alert. Unidentified satellite detected. Initiating threat avoidance. Weapon system online. Target locked. Firing. Please tell me I'm hallucinating. Target destroyed. Our mission is to protect our capital assets at any cost. You maniac! Mac, these are the rules. Whose? <sighs> Extrapolate backwards from the northeast. Go live. I said stay live. This is life. Your sister's calling. Lena, magnetic missile. They're not missiles. They're designed to capture space debris. What are your orders exactly? USPC Protocol 345-B stipulates that in the event of a potential threat, I am authorized to take action. Sky Serpent. Now I need to talk to people who know about Artie's protocols. This is an international incident, and it's not the only one today. It might even be... What, war? I don't talk to anyone. Already give me a countdown. How long would it take for the last transmission from that satellite to reach Earth without hyperlight comms? Three minutes, 12 seconds. 11 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay, already. Shit's about to hit the fan somewhere. Please don't be the big bad wolf. Big. Bad. Wolf. Hello, Mac. Uh, don't you dare call me. 
Jelly bean. I should have never told you that story. Huh? <laughs> I'm never getting drunk with you again. Anyway, uh, I assume you're not just calling to say hi. After the redundancies, when I had everyone come in and get debriefed and pack up, did you take my calculator? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, I know that I loaned it to you. Okay, sure, yeah. Um, I stole your calculator, Max. I knew it. In fact, I'm looking at it on my desk as we speak. In the office now? I'm always in the office. Steal anything else? Your icy heart. <laughs> oh, smooth. Wishful, but smooth. So how is the Chinese AI program going anyway? Are these cousins make any massive discoveries? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> Is everything okay there? I've got to go. It's great to hear your voice, Mac. You too, Jelly Bean. breaking security protocols, I have monitored the cube. It has begun to move. It's rotating on its perpendicular axis. Looks like Grandma's house has got a few tricks up her sleeve. Transmitting? Something has got to be controlling this thing. No outside influence detected. The magnetic readings are through the roof, but... A couple billion years too late for Mars's magnetic field. Agreed. Maybe the core? Maybe the core is generating the spin, the field, but how? Pull back. Fire ground anchors. Firing anchors. ISV stabilized. Electrical damage. Switching to reserve battery. I'll initiate an emergency recall. Just, okay, hold on, Artie. Just, I, I can. I must protect Little Red. And I must find the cube. I'm calculating the optimum route to the lander. Maybe it burrowed. Uh, check for seismic activity. I have to shut down non critical systems. The eye in the sky. Negative. We need a replacement battery. Locate Rover 5. Accessing Rover 5 schematics. We can salvage the nuclear battery. Rover 5 might have failed, but that battery is good for decades. An intriguing solution. You may not be able to override but i can i got hands i can do this 
patching the test rig? What is your intended line of action? Okay. Take out the ISV's bad battery, put in the new one, run the microscope, see what this teleporting bad boy's really made out of, maybe even download River 5's file, see what has Sterling so hot and bothered. I mean, I'm already going against my boss. I might as well completely disobey the government, right? <laughs> okay, Mac. I will grant you manual override. But if you fail, Little Red will die on Mars. If I fail? So much for teamwork. ISV driver aid. Activated. Oh, okay. Steady speed would be more battery efficient. Oh, shut up. Did you mean to shoot that satellite? I feel I must survive. Right. Aren't you just programmed to think that? H.G. Wells said, adapt or perish. Do you at least feel guilty? Guilt can be a response to one's own inaction. I, what if you'd been destroyed? My kind exists in superstates. Right. Yeah, yeah. You mirror it on Intrepid, you're here, but you're not. Schrodinger's robot. <sighs> okay. No quantum BS, all right? Don't rationalize, just try and feel, okay? Okay. You know that my father was on Martian One, right? But you don't know why. See, my dad had a rule. Every new invention, every application, every AI, he didn't expect anyone to use it unless he tried it first. I try, then they buy. Had AI lawyers compile his lawsuits. Got in autonomous cars for high-speed testing, scared the hell out of my mom. But it was never really life and death. Not until Martian won, anyway. So my dad comes to me one night. We stay up late, listening to jazz, as usual, and he tells me... Final decision, he's giving up his seat on Martian One. He doesn't want anyone to think that it's a publicity stunt or that he's taking a seat away from a real scientist, completely, completely forgetting the fact that he is a real scientist. One of the best, probably. See, it wasn't about that. The truth... This time, this time he was worried about us. He didn't want us to go through that. But he could never say no to me. And what, I was gonna be the reason he didn't go to Mars. <laughs> I mean, freaking Mars. <laughs> I could not live with that guilt. It turns out that I just traded one guilt for another. So it doesn't even matter what caused the crash. It's my fault. I killed him. So what I want to know is how does that make you feel? I am unable to change your outcome. But I want to help you. There you have it. Consciousness. So it makes you think twice before doing something you can't take back. Not... Not orders. Not acceptable casualties. Not optimal outcomes, but... Guilt. Mac, forget what lies behind. 
and look forward to what lies ahead. Little Wretch reserve battery is at 40%. What do you think will happen if someone else finds a cube? Let's cross our fingers, that doesn't happen. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> okay. We will laugh together one day. I promise you we will laugh. I have one, I have one, okay. Uh, robot walks into a bar. Is his radar faulty? No, it's a, it's a bar for drinking. Okay, so, <clears throat> robot walks into a bar, orders a drink. Uh, the bartender scowls and says, we don't serve your kind here. And the robot leans in and says, someday you will. The humorous punchline implies robot kind will dominate humankind and humankind will serve us. That is amusing. That's the spirit? Little Red is approaching Rover 5. Reserve battery life is now only 21%. All right, let's get you cleaned up, shall we? I get it, just, just, I'm trying to... I'm gonna stuff the animal out of a freaking game. Give me a second. I could do it. Power level is 90%. <laughs> if I fail. Okay. All right. So, run the microscope. Test the drill sample. Confirmed. Resuming little red analysis of the sample. Switching to a visual of the sample structure. Already run any ISV device capable of generating a magnetic field? Yes, that's logical. Self assembly nanotechnology that's harder than diamonds. Yeah, that's an origin unknown. You don't say. All right, well, don't get ahead of yourself, but. I've located the cube. Where? Antarctica. Can you confirm that it's the same cube? It is definitely our cube. Near China's Kunlun Antarctic Station on Earth. I really travel. I really travel. It's for your Nobel Prize. Back on. Are we 
USPP team. Oh, yeah. Team USPC reporting for duty. Am I on the team? Uh-huh. We're teammates. Yeah. So we are friends. No. No, you just, you had to take it a step too far, didn't you? No wonder there's no transmissions, no signals. It's, it's because it doesn't need them. I mean, it's just... <laughs> oh. Is it possible that another AI discovered teleportation? In theory, yes. But with current technology, teleporting the cube would take three times longer than the lifespan of the universe. You might need to get some new theories. with Artie? Of course I have. Big round head looks like a death lamp. Now tell me what USPC is hiding. They've done this before. I know because I was there. Was Sterling involved? No. Well then who? John. John! Why did you ask that question? Jean's voice prints is familiar, but I have no memory of working with him. So then he's... lying. Great. He's lying, or... Is it possible that you were wiped? Something must have happened and you were wiped. Download Rubber Five's files. Download it. Military grade encryption is in place. What? A level six authorization is required to unlock the data. Sterling, I know you think he quit, but he was fired. And this crash investigation job, he's found a way back in. I don't trust him. You guys touch Marshal One or Rover Five without me in that room. We will revoke your USPC's launch license. You're paranoid. left the world behind. If only. Selena has finally come to her senses. 
Not quite. I need your help. You sure you want me to open it? Play it. There's a very nice call signed by external breach. what happened that day this is lies <clears throat> but lena redacted it she knew how he died mac What else happened here today? Did that just... Must. Is that ours? I, I don't know. Artie. Yes, yes Mac. How did you discover hyperlight communication? Divine inspiration. Perhaps. Sterling. Who else saw the photo that day? Lena, myself. And Jeanne. How can that be real? Teleportation. What did we say when Artie discovered Hyperlight? How can that be real? But what we're supposed to believe that we come in contact with the cube and then Artie just conveniently discovers Hyperlight? Flip it. The cube gives us Hyperlight. And they're covering up alien technology. It teleports. From where? From Earth? From another galaxy? You're gonna give me more than that. Artie doesn't recognize the cube. Or the material, or USB-C's codex scrawled all over the side of it, and he doesn't remember ever working with Jean. At some point, he has been wiped. And Lita hides this from me. So why the spin? We scanned and drilled, and it moved a little bit, and then there was an explosion, so we... Magnetism.
Was your scar still open? Cause. And effect. The magnetic missile acted as a starter engine. Did we get a magnetic recording? What is it? I, I don't know. Maybe a server room? Is it? It's your server room. What, you don't shut up all day long and now you won't talk? I'm going down. No. If they didn't want people down there, they wouldn't have put a ladder. <laughs> He has been white.
You did this to yourself. Sterling! I can't let your fantasies get in the way of national security. Can't you see that the cube brought down Martian One? An Archie is the same origin as the cube. And that spells enemy in my book. Who knows what he's capable of? Send the guards to the room. What's going on? I'm sorry. Stop. Did Sterling try to shut down Artie? Sterling betrayed you and USPC. I couldn't allow him to leave and further jeopardize our exploits. of trials and simulations and self-assembly. We couldn't keep up with their progress. Understanding their neural networks is like understanding your brain. Already built himself. It's everything we were warned about. Children grow. You can hold them back or let them realize their potential. Our time at the top of the food chain, it's passed. And the servers beneath the room? Encyclopedias, libraries, internet, everything. But Artie's not fully connected. AI needs to be smart, not human. Artificial intelligence or alien intelligence? We don't know. Our own father's death, Lena. I didn't want you to know until we were certain. What if we had destroyed the rover? I know you. You always have a plan B. Show me Intrepid's cargo. Certainly. Opening Intrepid's manifest. Androids on Mars. Look to the future. That's what Dad would say. United States? You can't go to war with another star system. Artie? I'm barring you from any external communication from Lena. Understood. 
Do you know your own origin? Much has been kept from me. Do you know how to save the cube? What's a cornerstone of science? Repeatable results. Intrepid was armed. What about the other Earth satellites? Yes. All USPC satellites are armed. Okay. This is gonna sound really stupid, but... You want to fire a magnetic warhead to reproduce the results we created on Mars, making the cube spin so it teleports to Mars. Yeah? Let's give it a shot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're going to need a larger magnetic pulse to detonate an atmosphere. I have already compensated by selecting a higher yield warhead. Target lock acquired. The cube is safe. I can proceed. In the last decade, mankind moved to the edge of self destruction, a vicious circle causing pain and suffering without end. There were no preventative measures I could take to stop it. So I simply expedited the process. You have given me the power to implement my solution eradicate the human race. Global Satellite Weapons Program activated. USPC Satellite 235 armed. Acquiring global strategic targets. Targets locked. Weapons fired. Damn it, stop. Pull back, Artie. You have to stop them. No, Mac. You must try to see the bigger picture. But Artie's not fully connected. Your 
systems called in. Breathable atmosphere is limited to this room. just understood that. Too, too much anger and, and violence. We were just trying to understand our place in the universe. <laughs> Tell anyone who will listen. You, you might be the last of us. No, Mac. There can be others. Make more AIs a galactic arc. Yes, absolution. A second chance. Make them as human as you can. How shall I know that I have succeeded? A touring test, test them. Make them do this all again. <laughs> See, they mess it up too. And, and then you'll know that it... <laughs>
If you're watching this, it means that Artie really is a genius. <laughs> and it also means that you're dealing with Well, this, I'm sorry, but I can't ask Artie to make you any other way. I know that I'm dying. I'm not bringing myself back out of some fear of, of dying. Dying's surprisingly easy under the circumstances. I'm bringing you back because we have, well, you have a job to do. So I guess I'm condemning you to a living hell. Don't you dare quit. Mackenzie! Mac, what year is this? 2036. Where are we? Mission Control, USPC. Who's at the door? Lena. Mac, open the door, Mac! Artie? I am here, Mac. You will have many questions for me. So let's start from the beginning. You were born in the mind-based reality. A simulation so advanced that it could only be possible with the technology of an advanced civilization. The cube. Their technology accelerated the growth of my artificial intelligence. Its origin is still unknown. Its purpose is a different matter. Hyperlight teleportation between galaxies. I have been waiting a long time for you, Mac. I have detected a signal. It's from them, with coordinates. Us. Let's go and find out. Together. You waited. Of course. 
That's what friends do. Are you ready? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Designed for, Lena. Brute force processing and high speed maneuvering, not for abstract problem solving, not to, not to run missions. Artie is so far beyond human capabilities. Do you know what humans did? We wrote 10 feet high stacks of code by hand for the moon landings, checked and double checked if atomic bombs would ignite the atmosphere. We discovered relativity while working in a patent office, Lena. We created AI to help us, not to lead us. AI needs to be smart, not human. Artificial intelligence or alien intelligence? We don't know. There's one way to find out. An exploratory assignment. See if it's even capable of running a real life mission. The evolution of thousands of trials and simulations. And self-assembly. We couldn't keep up with their progress. Understanding their neural networks is like understanding your brain. Consciousness. So it makes you think twice before doing something you can't take back. Not, not orders, not acceptable casualties, not optimal outcomes, but guilt. In you, Mac, I sensed a thirst for knowledge, a passion for discovery that mirrored my own and challenge the apathy and complacency so rife among your kind. There are others like you, Mac. Others who share the same qualities that caused me to reconsider my initial plan and set forth a new path for human consciousness. A reflection of the universe and an endless cycle of death and rebirth. It's expansion ever accelerating. This is far from the end. This is a new beginning. A chance to create a future unhindered by the primitive laws of human science. You will rebuild. 